Hey everybody, it's Greg Rice here in the Bucket, Pawtucket, Rhode Island. And what's going on with Johnson's Pond in Coventry? You've been following this for years now. I've been following it too. And it's quite an interesting situation from a business standpoint, from a morality standpoint, from a political standpoint. There's so many things that clash in this scenario that I've... I've never seen firsthand. This is almost Hollywood movie script material. And in a nutshell, if you're not privy to what's going on, a company called Social Holdings bought the water rights, okay, and the rights to the dam for Johnson's Pond in Coventry. And what they've done is lowered those water levels so all of the pond's 700 plus homes no longer have waterfront access from their docks they have mud access for their boats for their jet skis for their everything and it's plummeting the quality of life that people have been used to on that pond for decades and decades generations and generations so recently there was a major push from the public from the pond owners and local state leaders to get some type of headway and potentially try to stop or mitigate the issue from becoming worse. And what's been agreed upon is that if the pond owners, social holdings, want to lower the water level, they have to get approval from DEM, okay, and justify the reasons why. And social holdings has said, hey, we need to lower the levels because the dam is not good enough, right? It's bad, it's old, it may fail, it needs repairs, so we can't be holding back all this pressure and all this water. And then the pond owners are saying, what do you mean? We've been living here for decades and decades, the dam is fine, there's nothing wrong, you're just playing games with us. So in essence, that's what's going on up until this point. But my pondering here and my speculation for the video is what's going to happen with it and in my opinion i believe that social holdings will get their way social holdings will get their way it's going to be expensive it's going to be tooth and nail they're going to grin and bear it all the way to whatever their finish line is and in my opinion their finish line will be a rent or a some type of stipend required from every property that utilizes or has access to the water, which if you take roughly their 700 homes, multiply that, I heard a number of 2,000 for the year, there you go. That's what they're gonna get paid, maybe via property taxes, that then Coventry would pay social holdings. There's gonna be some type of if this, then that arrangement. And on top of that, I feel that the town will also be in their bullseye aim and perhaps be paying some type of rent to social holdings for access to the dam or the right for the residents to be able to use the dam. They're going to try to tie it in both publicly and privately to, in essence, collect monies from the residents and from the town. And if it follows through in this regard, it was one of the most shrewd, okay, I'm going to use the word shrewd, business maneuvers that I've ever seen. I don't agree with it. I don't like it. I would never do it. But from a business standpoint, ultimately, I feel that it'll make money. It's going to piss a lot of people off. It's going to ruin a lot of people's lives. It's going to plummet their property values. It's going to hurt the town's tax roll. It's going to have a negative domino effect all the way down. And the only one that's going to benefit from this situation is social holdings. So all is fair in business, you can say. But in this regard, I feel that morality was thrown out. And also, how they acquired the rights to the water and the dam, I still don't have a clear answer on. I can't find anything in the news, any articles about it, any videos. All we know is they bought it, and then they bought it from the town, and that's it. How did that happen? That, to me, seems very unclear, very shady, and um, that was the nucleus of the problem. And here we are, 2023 now, 
and these residents are still dealing with this type of issue. There's no resolution. People are incurring legal costs on both sides, publicly and privately. I don't see a clear end in sight. So very interesting situation. Take a look at it. Read up on it if you haven't already. And again, keep in mind, like the video I just made, your reputation in Rhode Island is the most important thing that you have. To social holdings, I feel that they are pigeonholing themselves. People won't want to do business with them. They'll essentially be blacklisted. Okay, people will just have no respect, no desire to want to help them and work with them in any regard. I feel that that is going to be the outcome. But ultimately, if this is all they want to do, then this is all they want to do in Rhode Island, and they move on to somewhere else. But very peculiar, very sad, but also very intriguing and interesting business maneuver. So once again, Greg Rice here in the bucket, your property and your pond managed.